Hi, Chuck Hawley from West Marine. About 15 or 18 years ago, we were approached by a new company out of Fort Lauderdale, Florida, and they claimed to have a revolutionary anchor design. They called it the Fortress Anchor. Well, here's an example, and it's a, this is, in this case, this is a Fortress FX7. The Fortress Anchor is different from almost every other anchor on the market because it's made out of extruded aluminum, and it's very, very lightweight. In fact, this anchor, which replaces a seven or eight pound steel anchor, only weighs four pounds. Now, you'll notice it looks different, but it's, it basically mimics the shape of the traditional Danforth anchor. It's a pivoting fluke design anchor with a shank uh, able to go on either side. So it can dig in like this, or when wind conditions change, it can dig in like this. It's beautifully machined. If you look at this shank, it's hogged out of a piece of solid aluminum and it's beautifully done, no sharp edges. It's, uh, it, it really put a lot of effort into this, including engraving the name Fortress right in the shank. Well, this anchor has proven to be one of the most successful anchors at West Marine and in countless tests, testing this against other cruising anchors, it's proven to be extremely good in holding power. That's because it has very sharp flukes, a lot of fluke area, and a very precise 32 degree angle between the shank and the flukes. One thing that the folks at Fortress discovered was that the 32 degree angle wasn't optimum for mud. If you use an anchor that's designed for sand in muddy conditions, it has oh, maybe a third of the holding power that it would otherwise have. So you can actually disassemble this Fortress anchor by pulling out these two fasteners right here, pull the shank out, stick it in a different hole, and this angle now becomes a 45 degree angle. 45 degree is ideal for soft mud. We tested the FX37 version of this anchor, which weighs 23 pounds, on San Francisco Bay in the early 1990s. When the flukes were set at this angle, the anchor held about seven or 800 pounds. When the flukes were set to 45 degrees, the anchor held 2,500 pounds. This is in the sticky mud off of Candlestick Park. So you can adjust this for different bottom conditions and get dramatically better holding power. One other feature that the Fortress Anchor comes with, they send along what are called mud palms. These are pieces of aluminum that bolt onto the crown and they do so to give it more surface area so that if you're in really soupy mud that doesn't have any strength to it at all, you put the mud palms on and the anchor uh, will perform much better. So, if you want a high holding power anchor, one that can be disassembled for storage if you want to have it pack in a very small area, one that is really, really good in sand and exceptional in mud, I recommend that you take a look at the Fortress series of anchors. They're available from West Marine. Mm -hmm.